shall continue until the allocation of funds has been depleted. Funding options. Funding for such program is available at the municipal under the Housing Department's Community Development Block Grant Guidelines. The fiscal year 2014 revenues estimate to be at $21 million. Of that public service, 16% is permissible for public service activities, indicating that $3.6 million is available for this program. As an alternative funding option, the general fund, general fund account 9900, commitment item number 520755, contingency, FY 2015 assigned revenue $5.6 million. Alternate funding two, general fund, FY 13, ending fund balance unassigned $164 million. Next budget amendment 4.02. Many of Houston's after school program initiatives, 14 out of 18, are dependent on grant dollars as a funding source or have no designated funding source at all. The unpredictability of grant dollars as a funding source does not allow for planned, ongoing, structure type activities that are needed to help protect youth from crime general victimization, or other destructive activities. Parents, program planners, and youth need a recurring, dependable funding source to leverage the full benefits of out-of-school time activities. Also, a general fund source would place the proper and much needed priority on after-school programs as crime prevention strategies. <coughs> this, amendment would require, this amendment requires the administration to identify $1.5 million to fund the participation for 50 youth at each of 30 locations designated by respective district council members. Funding options, general fund. Projected revenue, $2.1 billion. <coughs> Alternative funding source, Houston Police Department asset forfeiture account. The FY14 projected revenues, $12.6 million, with 30% of the 30% of the just of the state are permissible for this activity and 15% of justice are permissible. The rest must be law enforcement. But a certain percentage of the 12.6 million are permissible for this. Alternative number two, the housing department community development block grant dollars. Amendment number 4.3. The Office of Business Opportunity, OBO, has requested and is scheduled to receive an increase of two FTEs, full-time equivalents to be funded via the general fund. Much of OBO's daily activity deals with contract compliance and vendor services related to the Department of Public Works and Engineering activities. Therefore, the cost of funding these two positions are recoverable from the combined utility system account. This amendment requires the administration to charge a bank or cross bill the, custom, the combined utility system of the Public Works and Engineering Department to recover these costs. Funding option, customer utility system fund number 8300 that's indicated, FY14 projected revenue, $1 billion. Alternative funding source, the dedicated drainage and street renewal fund, projected revenues, $176 million. Motion to extend. Exactly. Avery, I'm going to close the motion to Thank you, Calvin. Uh, 4.04, the Fourth Amendment. This amendment provides additional property tax relief for qualified older homeowners and assists them in keeping their homes. Currently, Harris County offers a $160,000 over 65 homestead exemption. However, the state of Houston offers a $70,862 exemption. This amendment would freeze or place a ceiling at this year's 2013 appraisals of homes appraised between $70,862 and $160,000 for those homeowners over 65 years of age, effective January 1, 2014. However, in the future, if the appraised value reaches $160,000, the exemption shall not apply to any value exceeding $160,000. Eligible homeowners' savings would range from $0 to approximately $569 annually.
the next amendment 4.05. This amendment provides additional property tax relief for qualified older homeowners and assist them in keeping their homes. Currently, the Harris County Harris County offers $160,000 over 65 homestead exemption. However, the state of Houston offers a $70,862 exemption. This amendment would raise the state of Houston exemption to $160,000 for those homeowners over 65 years of age, effective January 1, 2014. The next amendment, 4.06. This amendment provides additional property tax relief for older homeowners and assist them in keeping their homes. Currently, Harris County offers a $160,000 over 65 homestead exemption. However, the state of Houston offers a $70,862 exemption. This amendment would raise the state of Houston exemption to $80,000 for those homeowners over 65 years of age, effective January 1, 2014. Eligible, eligible homeowners savings would range from zero to approximately $58 annually. Obviously, my amendments four, five, and six alternative that I hope this body would at least consider one of those uh, amenable to pass. Uh, number seven, 4.07. The general fund FY 2014 ending fund balance shall be maintained at the preferred 7.5% level of total operating expenditures, excluding debt service. Any accrued reserves exceeding the 7.5% level shall be allocated to increase the city's rainy day fund above the assigned $20 million or allocated to assist in funding summer job programs for Houston's youth. Number eight, 4.08. Super neighborhood councils represent ge geographically designated areas where residents, civic organizations, institutions, and businesses work together to identify plan and set priorities to address the needs and concerns of their community. They form organizational structures, draft bylaws, and they are officially recognized by the mayor and council members. To accomplish objective, their objectives, super neighborhood representatives need information and statistical data that is organized, easily accessible, and geographically specific. To the extent existing City of Houston personnel and resources are available and adequate, this amendment requires the initiation of a process within 30 days after approval of the FY14 budget by the Police, Fire, Public Works and Engineering, Solid Waste Management, Parks and Recreation, Houston Emergency Center, Administration Regulatory Affairs Departments to utilize technology to sort information and statistical data via super neighborhood boundaries and make it available. This amendment only profits the use of existing city personnel and resources. Therefore, no additional funding source needs to be identified. Those are my eight amendments. I thank you, my colleagues, for indulging me, and thank you, Mayor.